The opposition St. Lucia Labour Party says the U.S. State Department's March 11th Human Rights Report on St. Lucia has justified its claims of corruption in the Stevenson King administration. Public Relations Office of the SLP George Eugene claims the report expresses concerns about transparency and accountability and foreign assistance programs that provide opportunity for graft. Eugene says the assessment from a highly regarded institution like the U.S. State Department is very harmful to the island's image. This certainly is going to affect St. Lucia on, on, on the international scene. When such a damning report is, is being made by an, a reputable organization such as the, the U.S. State Department, it's, it's really not good for us at all. However, government press secretary Donnelly Labon says the SLP's interpretation of the report is misleading. Labon downplays the gravity of the 2009 findings and says it does not express disapproval of the government. We see this as another attempt on the part of the you know, Labour Party to simply throw up issues that are non-existent. Um, there is absolutely no condemnation. Um, one will continue to research this matter in terms of looking at the reports that would have been submitted for earlier periods. Um, and um, government completely dismisses another attempt again by the St. Lucia Labour Party to give the indication that there is widespread corruption in this government. But the SLP says the report points to several cases of perceived government corruption, including the Mondesi Tuxedo Villas affair and the Richard Frederick Customs case. Labon explains the housing minister was never convicted of a crime and the Mondesi tourism concessions matter was an administrative misunderstanding. Um, the history of that suggests that Mr. Minister Mondesi actually did nothing wrong. In his rightful uh, position as a developer, he made an application to the Minister of Tourism Interestingly, which in that application, it included the Bonte residents. But somehow or the other, in the compilation of the application at the Ministry of Tourism <clears throat> and its subsequent submission to Cabinet, that inclusion of the Bonte res um, um, residents or the Bonte property was not included. The SLP is adamant the information posted on the State Department website vindicates its anti-corruption crusade against the incumbent UWP. The party has called for disclosure on a number of other matters, including the Wasco privatization project, the Uranora airport contracts, and Taiwanese funding. Winston Springer Jr., HDS News, Channel 4.